So uh, let's see how to use Microsoft Excel to produce random norm normal numbers. As we all know, in Excel we have the run function that returns a uniformly distributed uh, random number which will be distributed between 0 and 1. So uh, I will just push this to 30, I will be generating 30 numbers. So these are uh, distributed between 0 and 1. We can view them as probabilities because they are from 0, from zero to 1. But the question is, how can we translate this into random normal numbers? So let's first uh, explain something here. So let's assume I have two axes and I plot a histogram here. This is the density of a normal distribution. As we all know, the probability at the middle is 0 0.5 and this means that the probability of x and I will write that being smaller or equal than uh, a certain value which I know in this case will be 0 because uh, I already know that but anyway here this will be 0 0.5 so if I, and this is the trick here, if I can generate random uniform numbers here, this is what I am doing in column A, I'm generating numbers between 0 and 1, so these are probabilities, I can then use a function here to this number and then recover what's the B. So let's, uh, let's see how to do that. I will do norm.im, this will and here you have the description, returns the inverse of the normal cumulative distribution for the specified mean and, and standard deviation. So I will here put 0 0.5. Uh, let's say that this uh, has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So I already know this, this will be 0. And uh, this follows from some probability theory. You can read about that. Um, but in this case, I recovered this b, and this b is equal to 0. So that's great because I can reuse that very same concept over column A and create random normal numbers. So let's see how to do that. I will use norm.imb, I'll put 0 and 1. So I will pull this down. So here you can see 0. Uh, 19 uh, generated a minus 87. So what does this mean? So following the exact same logic with 0 0.5, I will do the, the same thing, but with 0 0.19. So 0 0.19 probably falls um, somewhere around here. So remember that because, as I said before, these are continuous density functions, this 0 0.19 is not the probability of x being equal to b but of being less or equal so that's why I use this symbol here so this means that in fact the area is like this so what I am instructing Excel or Microsoft Excel to do here is to tell me what's the value of uh, normally distributed um, variable what's the proper value that returns 0 0.19 of probability mass here. So the value is, you can see it here, is minus 0 0.87, which makes sense, obviously, because uh, 0 0.19 is smaller than uh, 0 0.5. So remember that this was a 0 uh, in, the, in the formula that I showed when I was doing this uh, thing over here. I showed that the probability of uh, x being smaller or equal to 0 was 0 0.5. So it's, it makes sense that the value that accumulates 0 0.19 is obviously negative. And on the other hand, it, you can think that if I put a probability here of 0 0.90, I will have, a, for example, here, 0 0.90 will fall here. 0 0.80 will be equal to all this area, everything here. So 0 0.80 has a pro, uh, an associated uh, variable value of 0 0.85. And finally, remember that 
An important thing here that will obviously change all your calculations is what's the mean and uh, standard deviation that you use. But typically for normal distributed variables we use 0 and 1.